I hope you enjoyed watching my video as much as I enjoyed creating it. My unsung hero was Marie Daly, the first African-American woman to get a PhD in chemistry. Some of her groundbreaking research includes the link between cholesterol and heart disease, as well as the synthesis of proteins in the body. But why did I choose Daly? The process unknowingly started on February the 11th, International Day of Women and Girls in STEM. To celebrate, I decided to look at some inspirational women of colour in STEM. And just from that search, hundreds of unsung heroes were made obvious to me. And when I saw this competition, I immediately knew I wanted to tell the story of one of the amazing women that I had discovered. Why do I not think that Daly is well known? I'd say mostly circumstance, as well as conquering the impossibly hard task that is research in science. She had to live through earlier times where she had to face racial and gender inequality that undermined her achievements. Like Daly, I have a profound passion for science. And in honour of this, I will be using the experiment to explain how I feel like it was at this time. There was a time where opportunities in STEM were very hard to get without the right background. This negative prejudice will be represented by this blue colour. 60 years ago, this blue was very concentrated. Women were only allowed to vote one year before the birth of Daly in 1921, and segregation was legal until she was 43 years old. These barriers are what stop minorities from higher education, so why do I think they should be better known? The information that Daly discovered is what guided science in the prevention of heart disease and improvement of diet. Without her working research, there'd be a gap in understanding how the body truly functions. As well as this, as a woman and an African American, Daly also had to face this prejudice at one of its peaks. Don't you think that this makes her achievements that much more amazing? As time went on, it became easier for minority groups to get recognised in scientific fields. These positive changes are represented by water. Now, as more minorities were making changes in the STEM scene, this prejudice was diluted to almost nothing. What was my favourite fact that I learned during making this video? What I found particularly inspirational was the fact that Daly recognised this problem. In creating her scholarship fund in 1988, she contributed to the process of breaking down the barriers, the first drop of water, if you will. That is why I chose Marie Daly. Not only did she make groundbreaking discoveries that redefined the biomedical field, but she also encouraged other minorities to not be afraid to do the same. As I follow in her footsteps as a biomedical researcher, I have to be my own drop of water in the scientific field, challenging stereotypes and changing the world.